Welcome back. The Ramblers have landed in San Antonio. Loyola of Chicago's basketball team has really become the Cinderella story of the NCAA tournament heading into Saturday's Final Four. Well, of course, the underdog has had some very amazing wins. Mm -hmm. People love that. And also the viral sensation that is that lady, Sister Jean. <laughs> you put it together and people really seem to love this team. Yeah, Sister Jean was great. And the uh, last time the Ramblers won a national championship, our former sportscaster Jerry Harkness was on the team. Our Jason Spell sat down with Jerry to talk about that tournament run that he says was about a whole lot more than just basketball. They won about 50, 60 games in a row. But You'd have a tough time finding a bigger Loyola basketball down, fan in Indianapolis than Jerry Harkness. There. And Ireland went and got it, and the rest is history. He can tell you all about the program's biggest accomplishments because he was there leading the way and changing college basketball in the process. They threw money at us and, and, and called us the N-word, and I, I couldn't believe what was going on. The Loyola basketball legend helped lead the Ramblers to their first national title in 1963 in the face of widespread racism. The regional semifinal matchup between integrated Loyola and an all-white Mississippi state has been called the game of change. It marked the first time an all-white team played an integrated lineup with four black starters. When we shook hands, I'll never forget the flash bulbs popping pop, 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 all over the place. And I was stunned. And I knew right away this is more than a game. I read this is history. The Ramblers went on to defeat the Bulldogs en route to the school's first national title. 55 years later, Loyola is back two wins away from another championship. I gave the trophy away when they won the Missouri Valley. I mean, they called me down. Man, I could almost cry. <laughs> um, and they give the trophy to uh, the team, not knowing they're going to go this. The Loyola legend will be in San Antonio this weekend, should his beloved Ramblers add another title to the university. That means you're still a part of it, and that they're going to take it from there. And they, they're a winner already. They, I mean, that team is something. So, um, but um, life has been good. After winning that 1963 national title, he played for the ABA Indiana Pacers and helped break the color barrier right here in Indianapolis, becoming the city's first black sports broadcaster on Channel 13. No doubt it was a strategy. Dean did a good job with the talent he had. Mr. Harkness, I'd like to thank you for sitting down with us. But more importantly, I'd like to thank you for making a way for me to have this job. So for the last time, I'm going to let you sign off at the station you used to work for. All right. Thank you. Reporting for Channel 13, I'm Jerry Harkness.